Wait for day so we all live a night in the night. Yo, it's kind of welcome back to the channel now. And I know this this video is going to be hard for me to do because of it's something I've been planning for a while. Um, as for those who don't know, big red supporter. So I thought it'd be a good idea to like make a video on like how I would like manage that team because there's so much stuff going that has come out in the last like three weeks about not paying wages, not doing this, not doing that, multiple breaches. I'm just like, bro, the season hasn't even started. We can get six points deducted already, like, but and not even having a manager or a team, like six players have gone already. Like key players and um, came out today about Yaku Yaku Mate is not signing on which I can't blame him. Can't blame him. He is he spent good what seven years at Redden? Fair play mate. He's he was a golf machine. Um but I think just to get started we'll talk about the manager situation. Now there's been a couple rumours here, there, everywhere. First room that I saw was John and Shades. John and Shades take over. I thought, you know what? he knows the club. He done well. He was one of the coaches. He done well. Like I, I would personally, I would have taken John and Shades. He's got that experience. He knows the club. Then saw about Chris Wilder, which I was a bit, of, was a bit of skeptical. But the most recent one that I've seen in is Ruben Sellers. He was the caretaker manager at Southampton. Then he got appointed manager until the end of the season. Now, if Redding do go ahead and get him, he's the man for the job. He he will be the man that points us in the right direction. He's got a brilliant track record with developing young players. He plays a very, very attacking style of football, which Redding lack. Redding like that attacking threat. We've always been defensive. We've always done things a certain way. He's proven he won trophies at other teams. He done it at Copenhagen, I believe. He won something in Denmark. I know it's Denmark, still European football, but he's done he's done well at those teams. And when he was at Southampton, he didn't do that bad of a job. Like personally, like in the when he took over, I felt like he had a run of games where it's like we had to play United, had to play Liverpool, had to play Chelsea, and it's just like he played well against those good teams, very well against those good teams. But it's just like the team wasn't clicking. But anyway, getting sidetracked. I think Ruben Sellers would be a brilliant man for the job. Only forty years old as well, quite a young manager, but. He will definitely develop um, some of our younger players, which we will be, which we, we have got. Um, right now, the starting lineup. This is a big one because we've lost a lot of key players, with especially with us losing a lot of our main players. So I'm gonna go based off at the moment what I know and the players that I know are staying. Personally, I would play a 4 4 2. Traditional, basic, can play a lot of attacking football, can play a lot of holding, but with the players that Redding have got, 4 4 2 would be their best formation. The team will definitely consist of a lot of um, academy players, 100%, because we have got some good academy players. Just they haven't had the chance to prove in it because of where we were last season. But with Ruben Sellers coming in, he'll have no choice but to use those academy players, which, with his track record, he will develop the likes of Femi Aziz, the likes of Jamari Clark, Kelvin Ebenito, I don't know how you say his last name, but players like that, he will develop. Even Kanai Voice Clark, he, brilliant goalkeeper. But this this is my starting eleven. 
So this is the lineup I will be going with. Ingo, I have got it on here as well. So if you see me looking down, I've got some notes obviously of stuff that I would do. Ingo, I would go with Yuko Anderson. Yes, he's been Redden's third choice goalkeeper, but he has got championship experience. The only reason why I would take him over Kanaya is because I think Kanaya needs to be loaned down for another season. Don't get me wrong, brilliant keeper. Um, but I feel like he hasn't got that much experience. Send him out on loan, give him a year, come back. Brilliant. Now, very controversial, my two centre-backs will be Tom Holmes. And Dorset, I would actually I will, I'll talk about all that in a minute because I have got players that I would sell. Left back, I've got Nestor against Walker. Yes, I did shit on him at the start of last season. But after that Blackpool game, I was like, right, this is a piece of shit. Like, basically, I shat on him the whole season, whole season. Ever since the we said the Rotherham game. Ever since the Robin game, he switched. Like, same with Lumley. Him and Lumley both switched. Right back, I would go with Kelvin and Briefer. My two centre mids are the two midfielders that I would personally bring in, because they're free agents. One is Lewis Wing. Um, he registered nine goals, five assists for Wickham. Brilliant midfielder, someone who can create something out of nothing. I feel like Reading need that in the midfield. He is on a free. I reckon give him a decent contract because he was at Wickham and he would I reckon he would sign. Another the, my next midfielder is someone less heard of but Harry Payton. He is a, on a free, plays in the Scottish League. He didn't really register any goals or any assists. But he gave that security to Livingston, some some Scottish team, he he gave that security of where he can play the ball forward, sit in front of that defence. So I'd have Lewis Wing push up with Keenan, like sitting just behind him, give him that cover to the defence. Left mid, I would go with Femi Aziz, I would convert him as a left mid from a right mid. And right mid, I would go Kamara. Brilliant. I, I think Kamara is probably one of my standout players because his desire, his ambition to get that ball. Like every time he came on from a sub, he took that chance. You didn't did not see him stop running. Did not see, yeah, you did not see him stop running. He was running for that ball, chasing that ball down. Now I'm um, I've gone with a young attack, but. I, I honestly think it will produce a lot of goals because of the type of players they are. I have watched them play and they do run their asses off. So Jamari Clark, nothing more I can say about him. Lucas Chow, but he can run. And Kelvin Ebenito, Eben, I really butchered his name. But I've watched him play as well. He's He offers a lot. like. He really does, but that obviously you can see my starting line up there. No, let me just get rid of that. Players I would sell, um, I did have to look at their um, prices because and what they're going for. So, Tom McIntyre would be the first one I would sell. Yeah, that, that pains me to say that. Redden, fanboy, grew up in the academy, homegrown talent. But you could he, with Redden's financial situation, I feel like he would be the, he would play better somewhere else. So you can so it said online that he ranges from one hundred uh, from one point five to one point eight million. So I don't know how true that is, but anywhere between that. Next one is Andy Yeardom. I would sell him. Um, age um, yes he has the experience but I just feel like he can do better he is a brilliant player don't get me wrong leader of men in my opinion after he spoke out after the Panvic um, I think it was after Peterborough 
it was after one of the games and he was the only one that came out and said look we're working it's not like we're not trying my last person who I would sell is Ovi Ajaya, very injury prone, that hasn't contributed much in the last two years and if our maths is alright, that frees up about almost about three million out of players plus their wages, so that can help balance the finance but it won't do much for the financial um, situation but 100% with this team, yes, there's a mixed, um, what's it called, mixed um, experiences, so you, academy players again, then looking at Harry Payton, Lewis Spring as well, because um, you've got, in that in this team, you've got minus Tom Holmes, because he came, he did come from the academy, but one, Grafer, Femi Aziz, Kamara, Clark, Jamari Clark, I'm not 100% sure, I think he came through the academy, and the other striker, that's pretty much half of the team going to be academy players, Anderson I'm not 100% sure about, but yeah, that's how I would personally fix Redden, obviously there are a lot of issues behind the scenes which um, no one really knows about. I have renewed my season ticket, so the vlogs will be coming back as soon as um, the season starts. Um, found out that we've got Swindon in our EFL trophy run, so that's going to be a Swindon and Oxford in the same year. That's going to be an amazing experience. Um, I'm going to be doing as many away days as I can, like without a doubt, hundred percent, hundred percent. And the gaming, uh, the gaming is starting up this week. So after this video, it is currently the twenty second or twenty third of June. After when this video go li goes live, the week after, I will be starting gaming back up. Um, it will, the gaming will be more frequent than the vlogs, but the vlogs is always going to be there, so a lot of exciting things are coming, so again, if you in did enjoy this episode, well it's not really an episode, isn't it? if you enjoyed my breakdown of what I would do to Redden, then please smash the like button, it is much appreciated, uh, I know Sam's going to butch me when he sees this, so me, he knows his ball knowledge, hundred percent. But yeah, we should be alright. So if you, again, if you like, if you like the episode, then please. Oh my god, why do I keep it saying episode? Yeah, if you like this video, then please like, subscribe, and peace.